Now, this argument does claim that God did in fact create the possibility of evil. However, he'd done it for a soul-making purpose. In order for good to exist, evil has to exist. If humans only lived in a world of good, we would never be able to recognise it. We can only recognise tall if we know what it means to be short. We can only recognise cold if we know what it is to be hot. So we can only recognise good if we know what evil is. Evil is therefore necessary in appreciating good. Yeah, I understand that. The soul-making theodicy then claims that God did not make humans perfect. Rather, he purposely made them imperfect, but gave them free will in order for humans to reach perfection through their own free choices. And in order for them to achieve perfection, they must make the right choices to get there. This makes it so much more worthwhile and special than just being created perfect. However, in order for there to be good choices, it means there must be bad choices. And these bad choices, which some people choose, is what causes evil. So the existence of evil is necessary in the path to achieving moral perfection. It helps us grow. It makes our soul. This then shows that evil can exist and God can still be all loving and all powerful. Again, there are lots of problems with this argument as well. Like what? Well, firstly, it really only accounts for moral evil. So yes, I can see that with free will, man must have the choice of evil. But why does the natural world have to be so evil? Why does there have to be earthquakes and tsunamis and diseases? This causes so much suffering. Why did God have to create such a harsh planet to live on? This doesn't seem like something an all-loving, all-powerful God would do. Yeah, I see the problem. And, if we're just focusing on moral evil, why is it so unbalanced? What do you mean? Well, there are people who go through life and have had some really bad stuff happen to them, and other people who have never really suffered. If evil is necessary in making everyone's soul, why does everyone not experience it in the same amounts? Okay, I got it. I don't think the soul-making theodicy is sufficient in solving the problem of evil. Right, okay, there's one last thing I want to touch on before we finish.